The individualist pattern. Before we jump into techniques on how to specifically manage, let's have a look at the individualist highest and lowest drivers. That helps us understand what their needs are and therefore we can use that as we're managing them. So an individualist, typically their highest driver is going to be their dominance drive. They absolutely want to have an impact on the world around them. They love to set those goals, their big picture thinking, and they need those things to stay motivated. They need their independence and control over their own work. They also have a high patience drive, so they need consistency and stability as well. So you'll see them wanting to work with familiar people to build that familiar surrounding, to build consistency, uh, and to think about that change implementation component. Now, their lowest drives are their extroversion. So you will see them being a little bit more reserved, a little bit more guarded at times, and they love to think through their ideas. So naturally, a uh, combination of that dominance and the introspection is they're very creative problem solvers and they're very analytical and they will typically go away, think about their idea, come back to work and tell people, here's what I'm thinking. Now, they do have a lower formality drive, so they don't like too much rules and structure. They actually work really well when it's quite ambiguous. They can work freely. You combine that with their independence, they definitely like to work on their own to a certain point. That's why we call them the individualist. Naturally quite independent, self-driven, self-motivated but looking at consistency and stability as well. So if you're going to motivate them, you know, provide them recognition on their persistence. And we see this high persistence in an individualist pattern. They they set their goals and they keep going at it. Uh, So recognition on that and their success for their tangible results because of their dominance drive is really important. Um, Allow them to participate in setting their own goals. They do like that control. So make sure that they feel like they've played a part in setting their own goals and provide them work that is independent and also quite unstructured. If I was providing direction, I'd provide them with proof um, and facts around uh, evidence or situations where I want to give them feedback. They will have a pretty strong opinion of their own uh, strengths and their own approach at work. So proceed with caution around giving them feedback. uh, Make sure that it's quite structured. Be prepared that they might push back um, or disregard feedback. Uh, again, like I said, they, they hold themselves in a pretty high stead. Uh, so we definitely want to make sure that they're feeling open to that feedback. Uh, provide the big picture conceptual view rather than getting into the nitty gritty. Um, if you provide too much rules and structure and try and box them in, that certainly isn't going to motivate them. I would delegate them work where the focus is on the result, not the detail. Um, I'd I'd always be talking to them about the outcome, 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 um, and let them find the path forward. Um, And don't delegate work that's overly urgent and time pressure driven and that's sort of initiating huge amount of change really quickly. Um, They're good at the goals and then going away and persistently chipping away at it over a longer period of time. Now, if I was going to coach them, um, I'd be getting them to explain the rules and structures they know they need to follow because every role will require an element of rules. So they just need to know what those are and it's good to bounce those off together. Um, Help them find the right balance between being quite assertive um, and being friendly and and more collaborative with others. They will naturally be quite independent and hold their own ideas in pretty high stead. So make sure that they've really looked at the ideas and opinions of others. Have they collaborated? Have they really truly listen to others um, and use that in the information gathering process. Um, Let them guide some of their development goals because obviously they do like control over their own um, ideas and their own career. So let them be in the driver's seat um, most of the time. That's going to absolutely motivate them. So hopefully this has been really helpful on how to best manage an individualist pattern. (music) 